Christiane Egger, pleased to have you here with me. You have different functions. You are deputy manager of the regional energy agency in Upper Austria, a very famous region in Europe with very good results on solar thermal. And uh, you are managing director on the Eco Energy Cluster. And today I would like to talk to you on your experiences with your being coordinator of a new project, which is called SolPro, and it's covering solar processes, which is still a niche market in Europe. So how do we get out of this niche market? Solar process heat is certainly an application for solar thermal that could be developed a lot more. We have, a, in theory, a large potential uh, of a large uh, hot water demand in industry. However, so far, there was a relatively small market development, so the solar process heat markets in Europe and in the world are still in their infancies. Now, we tried to analyze why is this the case and what can we do about it. Uh, the reasons, the barriers lie mostly in two aspects. One is, of course, the economic viability, that uh, in, in industry, solar heat has to compete with often very low energy prices for fossil fuels. And uh, also, there are still a lot of energy efficiency measures uh, that can be a lot more cost uh, effective than using solar thermal. The second main aspect is that there is a big gap in knowledge. Solar industries often are not very familiar with industrial energy systems. And on the other hand, industrial decision makers and energy planners do not know a lot about solar thermal. So with that European project, the uh, project called SoPro, we try to overcome uh, especially the second barrier by reaching out and informing and training both industry and the solar uh, sector about the possibility that uh, exists in solar process heat. In the first step, I think it's crucial to pinpoint and find those applications where solar process heat is economic already today. Can you give us some examples in the industry which are capable industries where solar thermal can be easily integrated? Well, uh, one big lesson to learn uh, when you speak about solar process heat, there is no industrial sector which is the big priority. The big priorities are the processes. So processes such as washing, cleaning, industrial paths, um, feed-in water for steam networks. So we, rather than going for specific industries, we have to look for where are the relevant processes. Because if you have, uh, and of course, some processes are more frequent in some industries than in others. For example, uh, in uh, the concrete uh, and cement production, uh, th that's, for example, a very interesting application possibility, especially also uh, because um, industries are very interesting if there's no big waste heat potential. Because if there's a waste heat potential, of course, the waste heat must be used first. Uh, so any industry that has very big waste heat potentials from compressors, they would not be my first choice, but rather those that do not have these. So cleaning processes, washing processes, uh, drying processes, industrial baths, and a feeding of uh, steam networks. So at the end of your project now, you're almost finished. Do you have uh, real case studies realized? Yes, we managed to realize, uh, to support and trigger so far seven pilot projects that are already up and running. Uh, we have about 10, 12 in the pipeline that are relatively likely to be realized in the coming months. And I think these pilot projects show very clearly the breadth uh, across sectors and across applications that solar process has. So this ranges from uh, companies in the metal sectors, uh, of course uh, the, the food industry, uh, a, a company that does wool drying and processes, so uh, textile industries uh, and some more areas where you have this very specific profile. All in Austria? No, uh, one of our very successful markets was Spain which is especially um, uh, a big pleasure because uh, Spain uh, faces some very difficult situations. But of course, with their solar resource, uh, they can, their installations can potentially be uh, more economic than in, in, in colder climates. So they are across the, the countries that worked uh, together in this project. So we have some uh, in Spain, some in Germany, some in Austria, uh, and some in Slovenia. 
So is there a trend in the industry to um, supply standard solution on process heat or will this stay a case-to-case -case study in the long run? The answer is yes and no. I think it's very important that the industry learns to deal with the complexity of industrial processes. So it's not just some square meter somewhere, but you really have to be fully aware of what is the load profile, uh, where, where is the best point of system integration, uh, where can the economics be best presented. We developed in this project a, a guide, a planning guide, that helps with the planning of such uh, integrations of solar thermal into industrial process uh, heat solutions. However, of course, with more pilot projects and more experience, I presume that for certain processes, more standardized uh, applications will come available for industrial baths, for example, or for cleaning solutions. However, it there will always be a certain planning process necessary uh, to make the systems really function well. Is there a follow-up when the program is finished? Next, I think it's next year? Uh, the project finished uh, last month, however, the project partners have decided to start a first step informal network, Solar Process Heat Europe, and we will certainly discussing at the moment how can we continue these um, activities to trigger more solar process heat installations in Europe. Very good news, thank you so much. Thank you.